I've been testing OpenArt's video feature for the past three weeks, and I have to tell you, this is a complete game changer. Most people are wasting hundreds of credit trying to figure this out through trial and error. But today, I'm going to save you all that trouble. But first, let me show you what's possible. Look at this video I just created. Pretty incredible, right? And the best part is that I made this in less than two minutes with just a simple prompt and a few tweaks. Now let me walk you through the exact process I use to create videos like this without wasting a single credit. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. Now let's head over to OpenArt. You will see there is a create video option right here. Click on that and you'll see four different video generation modes. You've got image to video, text to video, element to video, and audio. Each has its own strengths, so let me break them down for you. Let's start with text to video since it's the most straightforward. I'll click on that option and you can see we have a prompt field here. Now let's try a simple prompt first to show you what not to do. I will type a person walking through a forest and select Kling 2.0 model since it's the newest and best for realistic movement. While that's generating, let me explain why this basic prompt isn't ideal. It's really simple. It lacks specificity, doesn't mention camera movement, lighting, or quality indicators. Besides the quality, it's already looking pretty good, but we can improve it way more by using a detailed prompt instead. I'll type a young woman with long brown hair walking through a lush forest, tracking shot following from behind, dappled sunlight through trees, atmospheric cinematic quality. I'll also check this auto enhance thing right here. Now look at the difference. The movement is smoother, the lighting is beautiful, and it actually looks like a clip that wasn't AI generated. That's the power of a well-crafted prompt. Now let's try the image to video feature. I've already created this image right here that I want to animate. I'll click on image to video, upload this image, and add a simple prompt like gentle movement, cinematic. What's great about this mode is that it preserves all the details from your original image while adding natural movement. Let me show you another example with image to video. I've created this character using OpenArt's consistent character creation feature. If you wanna see how that works, I've made a bunch of videos for it on my channel. Here we have an image of Amber. Let's try to animate her. I'll upload the image, and for the prompt, I'll write, red-haired sorceress in flowing cloak, embers floating, hair and fabric, gently moving in the wind, magical glow, slow cinematic zoom in. Look at how beautifully it preserves the character's details while adding natural movement to the hair and clothing. Now for my favorite, the element to video feature. This is where things get really interesting. I will click on element to video and upload two different reference images. For this example, I'm using this character image and this background image. I'll add a prompt that describes how I want them combined. Character walking through the landscape, cinematic tracking shot. And open art is now combining these elements into a cohesive video. This gives you so much more creative control than just using text or a single image. This looks kind of funny, but you have to admit that it's very impressive. I used a very simple prompt and very simple images, and the result is fantastic for what it is. Let me show you another example with element to video that really showcases its power. I've got this image of a panda and this beautiful waterfall scene. I want to create a video of the panda sitting on that island in the middle right here. I'll upload both images and write panda sitting peacefully on middle island, gentle movement, mist rising from water, cinematic nature documentary style, and I'll also choose the pro quality. Look at how it's blended these two completely different elements into a cohesive scene. Panda looks like it belongs in this environment and the movement of both the animal and the water is incredibly natural. Now let's explore the models. I mentioned that different models are good at different things. Let me show you the same prompt generated with different models so you can see the difference. I'll use this prompt, a futuristic city at night with flying cars, slow aerial pen. You can see how each model has its own strengths. My personal favorites have to be Kling 2 and Pixverse, but you can try this out for yourself and see which model you like best. Now let's talk about one of the coolest features, auto sound generation. When generating a video, you can toggle on the auto sound option right here. I'll generate a video of waves crashing on a beach at sunset with auto sound enabled. You can hear how the sound perfectly complements what's happening in the video. This is all generated automatically. No need to search for sound effects or background music. For best results, you should be specific with sound descriptions in your prompts like gentle rainfall with distant thunder rather than just rain. I actually ran both prompts so you can hear the difference for yourself.
So by giving audio the same attention you give to visual elements in your prompt, you can really make videos with amazing audio quality in just minutes. Even more impressive is the auto speech feature with lip sync. Let's go to the audio tab and try this out. I'll upload a video of a character I've already generated. Now I'll type what I want the character to say and pick Vivid as the voice and turn on that lip sync option. When I click generate, Open Art will create both the audio and make the character's lips move naturally. Make sure to like and subscribe to Roboverse for more amazing videos. And as you can see, the quality is already amazing and it's getting better with each update. Now let me share some pro tips that will help you get better results with Open Art's video generation. First of all, you have to be specific with camera movements. Don't just say camera moving, use terms like tracking shot, aerial view, dolly zoom, or slow pan. These cinematic terms help the AI understand exactly what kind of movement you want. And trust me, it makes a huge difference in how professional your videos look. Also, you should always mention lighting conditions in your prompts. Something like golden hour lighting or moody low key lighting or even bright daylight dramatically affect the mood of your video. I found that lighting prompts are actually more important for videos than they are for still images because the way light interacts with movement can make or break the whole video. Next, be super specific about the environment. Don't just say forest, say dense pine forest with fog or autumn forest with falling leaves. The more specific you are, the more cohesive and believable your scene will be. This is especially important when you're trying to create a specific atmosphere or mood. Now let me show you one of my favorite workflows that's been absolutely game changing for my content creation. It's combining open arts character creation feature with video generation. So here's exactly how I do it. First, I generate a consistent character using the characters feature in open art. The amazing thing is you can start with just one image or even just a description. I've shown this in previous videos, but basically you can create a character that looks consistent across multiple images. Once I have my character created, I generate several different poses and expressions. Then I take these images and use the image to video feature to animate each one. So now instead of just static images, I have my my character moving naturally in each pose. And just like that, you have the footage needed to make an entire video using just your character. Plus, once you've created your character, you can keep using it forever. And here's some exciting news. OpenArt is working on even more video features, including the ability to create full character vlog videos with just one click. Imagine generating a story with any consistent character that you can then edit after generation. So if you want to try this out for yourself, click the link below. You can use the code ROBOV20 for 20% off in your first month or year. And by the way, if you're a creator, check out the Open Art Creative Partner Program. You might get free credits, early access to new features, and chances for collabs. You can also apply for the affiliate program to earn 20% commissions for up to 12 months. I've left a link for both in the description below. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more open art tutorials. I'm constantly testing new techniques and will be sharing all my discoveries right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.